Alright, so first and foremost, you want to give up praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, Basham, Raka, Kodash. You see, double and see the apostles and elders of great military rule well. And we say salutations to the Akimons to the push you with no truth and sincerity day in and day out. Constantly in season, out of season, we say Shalom. Alright, um, you know, just, just going in, 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 into this video that the brother did here, um, touching upon the, the angel that was seen in the, um, in the football game, right? Um, and you know, um, you know, plenty of comments and plenty of people didn't believe what was seen because they say it was Photoshop, you know. And the brother, the brother here now came back and did a video and he got the live game and proved that it wasn't Photoshop, that it, it was that they know the angel was there, right? And that, and you know, my words, my words on, the, on this particular video is just to show that plenty, um, plenty is, is plenty Israelites that that be in other camps. They don't have faith, you know, and plenty of people outside here that calling themselves Israelites and telling themselves that the truth they don't have faith because if you had faith, you would have, have believed in what, is, what it is the brother was showing you and not question it, you know. Because many you see, many things, many things that, that, that is going to happen and going to take place, you have to have faith to see it true, right? But even the scriptures say without faith, you can't please the Lord, and we were going to that just now. So, is this a show when you read the comments? And you, and you watch when I read the comments and you listen to what men had, men had, men had us to say on the first video that the brother did, you could see that that plenty, 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 um, plenty jakes in Israel, plenty jakes in Israel, they don't have faith, you know. And they, they, they jump up and they call the men of GM as faith based Israelites, yeah. But at the end, that is just to say that the Lord say faith is a gift, right? So if we see it, if if you're calling us faith based Israelites, then. The Lord, then you you all proven that that um that the Lord is dealing with us because at the end of the day the Lord gave us the gift the man of GMS certain from apostle apostle to have go straight down you know and uh, matter of fact I'll start with that scripture right that faith is a gift right I was going to start with something else but at the spirit you know this is um this is Ephesians chapter get here it's a lot let's hold on right so this is Ephesians chapter 2 verse um verse 8 it say um let's say for the it's say for for by grace are you saved through faith, right? Yes, so you see, you have to, you see, this is how important faith is, right? So you say, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. I say, it is a gift of God. So faith is a gift from, from the Lord, from your, from, from your Abba Hashem, your Shai. So you call on us, you call on us faith-based Israelites. you proven that the Lord is dealing with us, because we get a gift from the Lord, right? So, so you know, that is to show you, <laughs> it is to show you who have the truth and who don't, because you are you're supposed to have faith, you know, and, and you know it's, it's a beautiful thing that the brother the brother saw that, you know, because the scripture says we you know we go entertain angels and so on, right? So you all not having you all not having this 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 faith in this one thing, so that that, that is to show that you know plenty plenty things that you all wouldn't have faith in like the spiritual powers right you all, you all might think that that is cartoon thing that that we that getting powers from the lord right you all, you, all, you all might think that come a book thing because you already fear that we're gonna be going and get that right or okay, get the spiritual body so going into our next scripture here this is romans chapter 3 verse 3 it says for what if some did not believe Shall the unbelief make shall, shall the unbelief make the faith of God without effect? So yeah, so what so what if you didn't believe? Right? Again I did the the, the, the the men the men of the Lord that have faith um this this is this is a booster for them. This is a heavy booster for them that that, that you know that that the that the angels are being seen, right? You know and and, and you know um you know that me and the next brother from from the camp here, you know, we we had an instance where we um was preaching at time and we met someone we never saw that person, and the person was talking to us and 
and two tooth, the person was gone, nowhere to be found, right? So, yeah, so brothers will have instances, brothers will get um, instances with, with angels, um, the same way with Tobit and um, with Raphael, right? But that's to show you that, that, that the men who have faith, the men who have faith will go to that, and the, the, the jakes that outside that don't have faith, they will die in their unfaithfulness, right? And we we'll go into that, but let's read it over Romans 3 verse 3. It um, says, it says, For what if some did not believe? Shall the unbelief make the faith of God without effect? So, yes, so if he didn't believe, that you. But the NID, them that have faith, faith in the Lord, they will believe, you know. They will believe. And the brothers, and let's show the brother went and find the, the, the brother went and find the live stream, you know, the live video, and prove that it wasn't Photoshop. So, what, what you all have to say now? What is your excuse for what is the brother, is the brother, um, the brother bringing out, right? You know, this, this video that the brother did was a heavy faith booster, right? A heavy faith booster. Right, so I'm going into, I'm just going to uh, preach up here. This is um, Hebrews, you know, Hebrews chapter 11, verse, verse, I'll start from verse 1. It says, it says, now faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen, right? So you know the, the so you know that powerful faith is. You know once you have faith, you will fulfill the things to come. You know not the things you see right in front of you, like the materialistic stuff and so forth. But we hoping for things to come. You know going into the spiritual powers, the spiritual body and so on. We you know we hoping for that. We have faith that you know that that we might receive that once we are, once we are part of the elect, right? But that I faith, I faith, we see it, but we believe in. We hope in that we get it. And plenty, pl uh, again, just stating over again that plenty jakes outside here, they don't have faith, right? And faith is an important thing, right? Um, it's, a, it's a for by it, the elders obtain a good report. So that, that is to show you how important faith is, right? That it have a whole chapter about it. And it was, it was, it was mentioned many times, many times in the scriptures. Faith was mentioned many times in the scriptures. So, and because if it didn't have faith, Abraham would have never offer if Abraham would have never offer his son. Right? I'd say through faith we understand that the words were framed by the word of God. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So that is important faith is. And faith is what have you believed in, in the scriptures. Right? But again, <laughs> hey, as you all say, faith is Israelites. And we we glad for that. We glad you all call us that. We glad you all call us that. But that just proves that the Lord is working with us. Right? Um, so jumping down, you know, um it says jump uh jumping down to, to verse six. It says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. So yeah, so you say with it say without faith it, it is impossible to believe in the Lord. Um to please him. So that, to please him, so you see, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Yeah, so that's how important faith is. And that is to show you that the men that really please, the men that please in the Lord and actually doing the work of the Lord with all sincerity and truth is the men of GMS. Because at the end of the day, you all call us faith-based Israelites. And, it, and the scripture is stating here, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. And we, we do the work of the Lord right too because we have faith. We have faith in what it is we're doing. We have faith in the name. We have faith in everything we do. Right? Because the scripture says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So we're not double-minded in what, what it is we're doing. Right? Like many of these, many of these um, other Israelites outside here that jump upon, that don't have that faith, they're double-minded because they, they don't even believe in the name they are calling. Right? So you say, but, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a, a, a for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Yeah. So the Lord is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, and that, that will be what? The men that have faith in the Lord. Right? So that's reading over about that scripture again, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. It says, But without faith, it, it is impossible to please him. For that, for, for he that cometh 
to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So yeah, that is true how important it is. So if you don't have faith, why are you going to please the Lord? Right? And I just, that is to show you, because um, I will bring other instance in the scriptures here, where one of the apostles didn't believe. Right? But at the end of the day, you have to have faith. Right? So jump in. I'll go to that one time. This is, um, this is, this is John chapter 20, verse, um, I'll, I'll start from verse 24. It says, but Thomas, one of the twelve, called did a must, did one must, right? It say was not with them when Yahushai came, right? So he was not wrong when Yahushai came, right? It said the other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord, but he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and trust my hand into his side, I will not believe. So, you know. Thomas wanted Thomas wanted to see. He wanted to see in order to believe. Right? He wanted to see. And like that they just uh, they just uh, instance for like um the rest. The rest I'm um, playing these men outside there. The scriptures say um what the Lord say he wouldn't give all their sign. So but yeah, you have to have faith to know that all the um you have you have, to have faith that, that they know all these things going to happen and that the Lord is coming back. Right? So you all that you you um you all jigs that don't don't believe in the in, in the um in what this brother brought out here. You all would have be you all would not believe that the Lord came back. Alright? So you see, verse 26, you say, and after eight days again his disciples were with him, and Thomas with them. Then came Yahushai, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. Then said he to Thomas, Reach reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands. And reach hither thy hand and trust it in, into my side, and and be not faithless but believing. So yeah. So you know this this is what Yahweh was telling Thomas. He say he say um, and be not faithless but believing. So yeah. So stop be faithless, but believe. And you know, I did be spiritually minded that that yeah, you could be seeing angels, the Lord, in in the times of Jacob Jacob trouble and so forth, and in times to come. The Lord might send angel, the angels to protect us, and hey, there are many instances that that the Lord send angels. Um, Lot, yeah, Lot, yeah, you have the story in Maccabees when they was going through the war, and the Lord sent the angels to um, to blind to blind the uh, the army, right? To smooth them with blindness. So yeah, so the Lord the Lord might send angels to, to around us, right? So wait this, so you have to, be, but you have to have faith in that to believe that the Lord is going to do that. And if you all do, if you, and at the end of the day, if you're faithless, so be it. Right? You will die in your unfaithfulness. It's a, reading over, it said, Then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and trust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believe in. So yes, so stop being faithless, but believe that these things happening. Right? And to, um, verse 28 is saying, and, and Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God, Yahushua said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. So yeah, because this just just to, just to go up this, you know, um, this this video here, you know, we believe in what the what way to see brother say, that he's what he saw and, and so on. Because we are afraid that the Lord, the Lord doing all these things. Right, we didn't see it. We didn't see it like we, we, like we didn't see it like with the brother. So, but with with the brother bring on the video, we believe. As I say, me and a brother in the camp, we we had a we had a similar instance with with someone coming up, and um, I'm talking and and he was talking to because I was um the speaker at the time, and the person was talking to me, and you know the person said more something more descriptors and and it, you know if the brother was here. You know, um, you would have said the same thing, you know, that, that the person just gone, like vanish, you know, like we blink and like we, did, like we blink and we just turn we face and the person just gone, we never saw the person again, right? And we were preaching in that spot for months and, and, um, and we never see the person again, never, you know, 
So that's to show you go and, and you know um in that particular instance we can't you can't even remember the face. You know, the me and the brother we're trying to like see like the tell the brothers, you know, the face and we can't we can't even remember the face of the person. Right? We can't pinpoint the face. Right? So yeah, so you know, scripture says we're ending the angel, so if he you know, so stop be faithless. But believe. Um, you know, let's go to one more precept here, which is in Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse four. You know, it say, "For it say, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness." So yes, yeah, so you know, them that them that unfaithful, and them that do have the faith shall die in their unfaithfulness, and so be it. So do believe that you, but you know what? We will have faith in the Lord that He is doing all these things. And we know we 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 are afraid that the Lord will, will, will see us. We will, will see it true, right? So you know with that again, hey, you know there's such on it. Plenty, there's such on it. Really, you know, and see the comments for from other people are wrong, from other because b other brothers, other brothers uploaded the same video, and and some of the brothers was getting the same comment that it was Photoshop, you know. So that is to show you plenty, plenty, plenty of Israelites outside here. They don't have no feet. Right? So with, hey, with that we give our praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Raka, Kodash. We say double and say the apostles and elders of great mercy and rule well. Right? Our teachers in the shoot. We say, um, we say, Shalom to all the Akemons. So they push in the wood and all truth and sincerity day in and day out. You know, constantly in season, out of season. We say, Shalom.